Actie. So, hello kiteboarders, welcome to Kitefinder. Uh, today we got something uh, special for you. We're gonna see, um, well, how much uh, Nash really progressed in uh, all uh, the technical details of their kite. So, um, yeah. We got uh, one of our friends, uh, Adam Koch, uh, sending us uh, a really nice uh, kite. He says, well, it's probably one of the best uh, Nash ever made. And, uh, well, we also go and compare it to a 220 Boxer, but uh, that kite is almost over there, so I hope it will be back in, uh, in time. Well, uh, come over here, I will run you to all the specifics on this beautiful kite. <laughs> Do you know which year this is, uh, André? Is it an, uh, was it an ARX or something? Or, uh... ARX, yeah. ARX, oh, okay. 2001. There you go, boys and girls. The Nash uh, ARX. We can, see, um, we can see the tweak technology they have nowadays in the 220 models. It all came from 2001. Yes, it's nothing new. What was the projected area? 11 point something or so? Uh, yeah, 11.5 yeah. 11.5, okay Well, what you can also see is uh, in 2001 they were already pretty ahead of their time with this uh, beautiful uh, laminated uh, material and Alua? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it was one of the predecessors of Alua <laughs> there's, nothing new on the, there's nothing new on the market today <laughs> You know, uh, all those uh, hipster uh, single point inflation uh, systems you don't really need because uh, yeah, they get the little struts they got the balls see if the balls work it's, yeah, it's really old school and the balls. yeah the balls still work yeah. so, you have all about your bow fuckers <laughs> do you really need it oh i put my uh my ziggy on the pants oh oh i got i went for star wars today <laughs> Oh, this is a photographer. Uh... Hey, André. Yeah. So I got now the shot that is the the fence, and then goes into the deepness. So the, that's uh, like figure out that uh, our interview is always into the deepness. Into it's an in-depth interview. Uh, yeah, like in-depth. Yeah. We go really deep. Yeah. You don't do it for us. thingy on this thing or no, uh, no, I don't just, think uh, so no for a deflate watch it's also pretty cool in 2001 the small pump. really small uh, small pumps <laughs> they call it the big pump they are lying <laughs> and uh, nowadays uh, you can get a dog in the same color of your kite how beautiful is that <laughs> and this, uh, this was at a time that it didn't have uh, the little ropeys on there so you would oh always yeah. uh, break one side of your pump. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a little ropey. If it went to a, to a kite spot in the end of the day, you would see three or four broken shafts. Or broken handles. Oh, it's an 11.5. It's only uh, 8.5 meters uh, projected. Oh yeah. And there's here something, Adam. Adam's wingtip beds. Okay. Oh well. Over here we can see uh, the material the kite is made of. Not much different uh, nowadays. Only it's uh, how do you call it? Single the single text, single text, uh, single core uh, something. It looks pretty good, eh? Still, two thousand one, two thousand and one kite, and it's still uh, really nice. I probably have seen uh, kites uh, from uh, 219 or 217 uh, that were uh, look worse than this one, that's for sure. <laughs> Pretty simple uh, pigtails. A lot of dark room. A lot of dark room. So uh, nice and sturdy. And it's uh, designed by uh, Don. The Don. So uh, this is not the original uh, 2001 uh, bar. Uh, some upgrade. If you know from uh, which year uh, this Nash bar is, just uh, leave it down here in the comments because uh, we don't really know it. Oh, normally 
you had that little uh, hook over here. Where you have the rope in. You know, where you can uh, hook yourself and then... Uh, you, can't, <laughs> you can't unhook again. Yeah, you can't unhook again. Okay. Oh, and what's also really nice, of course, is the entanglement you're going to get with this uh, pull-through uh, leash system uh, on the oh, left yeah. side. <laughs> Safety. So, uh, next to our uh, 2001 uh, ARX, we have for a little bit of comparison the 2020 uh, Nash uh, Boxer. So, we've seen a little bit of uh, construction differences between 2001 and 2020. They still put a wire uh, on the trailing edge. So, uh, that's still the same. They uh, seem to kite a little bit differently. If you're looking over there, it's mainly in. Uh, they have lengthy panels. Now they have some uh, some more panels. Uh, it's more striping to the side, eh, to yeah, the tips. more striping to the side. Let's see if uh, oh, there are no twigs anymore, but they still uh, really like a quite big and uh, bulky uh, leading edge. So uh, comparing the leading edges, I think. Uh, the leading edge of the ARX is even a little bit uh, thinner. Yeah, eh? Yeah, it's a little bit thinner. Now, a big difference is uh, the way they uh, construct uh, the struts and how they uh, connect the struts uh, to the leading edge. Probably it looks a lot, uh, a lot sturdier and uh, you probably get a more rigid frame uh, doing it uh, this way. From their internal octopus system, so uh, normally Nash uh, had a one pump system, their octopus system, when it was working it was always really great, but when it wasn't working or you had a leaky strut then your whole kite would deflate because it would, uh, had uh, one way valves uh, in, the, uh, in the system. So now they have something they call the luff strut. It's a flex shape and subtle support adaptive performance. With the uh, 2001, you can see over here they really use the shape of the struts to really shape uh, the top side of the kite. And when you look over here, in 220, the strut is uh, almost uh, straight, and uh, the shape, the shape, of, yeah, and the strut is almost uh, straight, and the shape of the canopy is made uh, by this uh, little uh, piece uh, in between. Hey, do you see the tips on the way? And, uh, yeah, this is all straight. So, um, well, at least we are very uh, happy to see that uh, Nash uh, really improved uh, their kites a little bit uh, in the last uh, 19 years. So, uh, but you know, construction is one thing. Let's go out there and see if uh, yeah, riding them uh, makes a big difference. <laughs> Middle of the snow? Yeah. Really? Now uh, we know that, um, especially in 2001, uh, there was a little bit more figuring out of uh, how you should tune your kite. So, uh, yeah. Let's try them first on these nuts. Because I know in 2001 uh, all the lines were white and, uh, and uh, the same. So, uh, everybody. Uh, I don't know if it's everybody, but at least uh, I uh, did uh, switch them around a couple of times. <laughs> I think we pick out the uh, green and red some. Was we the or was it the bar? I think it was just the bar. I think they didn't really have any uh, different colors on the pigtails of the car. At least Nash didn't, because uh, I had a uh, 16 meter arrow and I know I've been dragged along uh, a lot of beaches with it, but because I crossed the line. so. <laughs> If we are looking at 2001 and 220, well, you know, everybody's busy with material, but uh, you know, what's all the fuss about? Because I think it's almost the same. Well, uh, not really. <laughs> this kite is uh, delaminating uh, out of itself. So this is the special uh, snake uh, system. Snake skin. Snake uh, skin, where it will shed its old skin and then it will, you know, pop out as a 14 meter. So, uh, who knows? <laughs> So it's also uh, pretty nice on this uh, 2001 uh, version. It has a really short uh, deep power stroke. And uh, well, the quick release is uh, 
Release. It works uh, really efficient. <laughs> I think it's not the or original. What do you think? No, 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 no. In those I times, we are always uh, trying out. No? Well, uh, the beauty of it is, uh, it still flies. Yeah. Wat me niks tegen. It still flies. Uh, and it almost wants to fly over your head. Left are a little bit shorter than on the right. <laughs> so nice and uh, ropey. Yeah, nice ropey thing. So uh, I think we still have to do some tuning, but uh, yeah, you know. Oh, I I feel it not so bad, I must say. Yeah, it's hey? mooi. So uh, well, it's not too bad. So uh, even for uh, two thousand, oh, it was a fly off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Going down. So the restart. <laughs> it's also the restart. It's also old school. Yeah. So especially for uh, relaunching, uh, you need uh, Someone a else. little special technique, but you need some wind as well. So the relaunch technique is the, the relaunch of the kites are really better now, eh? Yeah. Too much help. This is. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Not Oh, yeah, it is uh, really powerful, especially on the edge of the wind window. So, uh, probably uh, doesn't go upwind uh, that easy. Oh, you see that old, uh, that was jelly fishing. That was an, uh, that we used in oh, the early yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, the jelly fishing. Yeah, see, so can you jelly fish it? Is it stable? Oh, the way. Jelly fishing, jelly fishing, jelly fishing. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, you want to try it? Of course. Okay. So uh, we've got a uh, stunt double. Yeah. You can hardly see the difference. <laughs> I think uh, he has a hard time uh, performing with an audience, so. Uh, he wants to uh, search for a little bit of a quiet, uh, quiet space. It's really nostalgic, eh? Mm -hmm. Looking at this. Yeah. The old, old memories. You can almost uh, so see somebody do a Superman heart attack uh, on it. <laughs> yeah. Or making Superman, uh, yeah. a Superman heart attack. <laughs> or uh, one of the most uh, famous uh, ones of them all, the stump pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The shape of the kite. How nice it's still looping. Yeah. You can't you can't uh, change the power and de uh, and depower it, so it's always continue power. Yeah, yeah, it's only power. And especially on a hydrofoil, uh, yeah. that can be uh, pretty scary because you can't really uh, you know do anything uh, with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I oh, got. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Nice, nice. Je lukt hij. Zo, hoe was het back in the day, uh, Stef? Uh, when you had all those uh, World Cup uh, guys, how should you walk uh, along the beach? Yeah, like that. You're doing fine. A little bit like uh, Frans Orly. Uh, yeah, you have, <laughs> you have the Frans Orly look. <laughs> And uh, Sebastian Catalan, look. That's also Sebastian good. Get him out. Yeah, old school relaunch. Old school relaunch, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, boy. Yeah, yeah.
Sorry. Hey. So it's a really hard to explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quicker. Quicker. Quicker, boy. Hey. So uh, people, we try to ride uh, the Nash uh, ARX and uh, compare it to the uh, Nash Boxer 220. Well, I can tell you, there's a whole world of difference. So those uh, 19 years of uh, developing kites really makes a difference. Now, there's one thing you shouldn't do, and that's buy one of these because there are no safety systems. If you don't know what you're doing, you probably get hurt really, really easy. So. Uh, don't buy a kite of 2001 or even 2002, 2003, 2004 or anything like that. So we're gonna keep uh, this one because it was uh, the kite of uh, Adam Koch, the legendary 14 second uh, hang time uh, kite in the World Cup Feymarn. So this one has a uh, historical value, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh, it's been uh, 20, over 20 years now and uh, with the kites we got uh, nowadays, that's for sure. You're proud man. Yeah. Don't forget, let us know down in the comments uh, what you think of the 2001 uh, ARX or the 220.